Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nuni, and it's Leo in a third house. Back with another reading. This is gonna be another zodiac read, but it's gonna be a random read. We won't know for who until at the end when I shake up the jar. All right, I got a little bit of time, so I figured I'd knock a couple of these out real quick before I go pick my daughter up. So I might get like three, I might get four, I might get five. That'd be exciting. You know what I mean? Let's see. Um, I just had to shuffle those up before I put them up. So I had these pre-shuffled. So let's see what the overall energy is. Okay. Aquarius energy. You could be an Aquarius. You know, but you're bringing love into the situation. Ooh, that's a lot. But I guess we could, mm, I'm not gonna take it. Cause that's not how I like it. There we go. That's what I like. And harmony. Okay, so you're bringing love into the situation with harmony. So this is balance, synchronicity. Things are things are going to be going pretty easy, all right? So uh, this is like a trine is pro positive energy, all right? This is energy that's pushing. It pushes you. It accelerates you into a good position. You know, it's luck, synchronicities. You know, some people might call it like divine timing, you know, but it's like good vibes. Good things are coming that way. Here, let's get the energy of that you're going to need to be in, right? I didn't shuffle these. I forgot. All right. I didn't shuffle these. I forgot. I have a soft spot for doing the Zodiacs because when I first started doing them, you know what I mean? I didn't think that I was gonna be able to do anything but Zodiacs. So that's why I did them initially when I first started my channel. But I mostly do like the pick of cards. Here we go. This is gonna be the energy that you're gonna to need to be in to get the most benefits out of this reading. Ooh, this is allowing other people to give you stuff. This is uh, inheritance, right? This is getting, allow, like this is getting rewards without having to do too much work. And that's what a trying is. This is luck. This is opportunity, all right? This is synchronicities. This is good stuff coming into you, all right? And so we're bringing love into the situation. This could be, uh, you could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. This is, a, you know, or you could be dealing with Aquarius. These are so far the signs we have. But the energy that you're gonna need to be in is being receiving, re receptive getting good fortune, allowing it to come to you, you know what I mean? And maybe even sharing it because with, you know, just, just, uh, with this, uh, you know what I'm getting with this with Aquarius energy. This is more so about not, the, 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 not expecting how it's coming, you know what I mean? Cause this is also, uh, you can get money through inheritance. This is about not having to work hard for the money. You know what I mean? Not having to work hard for you know, a blessings, you know, things are coming in. This is inheritance. All right. So you don't have to do anything. And with the trying energy here, I get like, you really don't have to do anything. Aquarius energy is more of this detached energy. And, you know, maybe you can be sharing this with other people. You can maybe share the blessings with other people because you're going to be getting a lot of blessings coming in. And I guess just the energy that you need to be in is just letting it flow, letting it come to you. Okay. So just be letting it, letting it do what it do. That's a lot of cards. I'm not taking all that. So that's pretty much what I'm getting. You're just going to need to let them do what they do. All right. So there we go. There's one. Wop. Wop. King of Wands. This is getting things you want. Queen of Wands. So you can have a pair here. We got Hermit Energy here. We got Pisces energy here. We got G, uh, Gemini Virgo energy. We got Aries energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Sagittarius energy, and we have Gemini energy again with the lovers. But that's what I get. It's going to be some love or, or a nice big decision to be made. Eight of coins. All right. So this is progress being made through work, through hard work. So now you're getting the luck. So you don't have to do much now. You don't have to do much now because the eight of pentacles comes before. So you're in a period now where you're probably doing the work, but this is actually giving you the information, information you need and the confidence. 
because Fortuna, you know, has that yellow, which gives me self-confidence. It gives me solar plexus energy, you know, and with the Queen of Wands, this is this is what you're challenging, not you mean, you know, challenge your obstacle, what you're focused on. And the focus is the Queen of Wands, which is, you know, being confident, you know, being self-assured. This is the heart of the matter because the King of Wands is the heart of the matter. So this is about being confident, being self-assured. And with the moon in reverse, it's about needing to trust your intuition, you know what I mean? Because there may be a fear here of not being like of the, of the unknown. And that's really it. And really, you're just needing to allow things to come to you. Allow it, you know, be be receptive because that's what the Queen of Wands is. It's a being receptive type of energy. So with the Hermit energy here, you could be just getting over maybe a depressive energy and, you know, or that energy of not wanting to be around other people, you know, wanting to be a loner. And that has to do with the fear of intimacy because we you come into this reading with the Eight of Swords energy. So I'm bouncing all around. But you come into this reading with the, with the then that's what it feels like, you know, you might be just bouncing all around, even though most of these cards are like, um, they're like stationary because all these cards are stationary. You know what I mean? Everything, everything here is stationary except for the hermit. He's out of place, but he's in reverse. And that might be how you're feeling like out of place because this is a life changing situation. We got a lot. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven major arcana out of 11 card spread. So this is going to be a life changing, a pivotal moment for you. All right, a very pivotal moment, you know, because with the trine here, this is an easy going moment. This is a push like you don't have to do anything. And that's what I'm saying. This is Jupiter energy. All right. This is Jupiter and uh, Jupiter and sun energy. So this is focused of abundance coming your way. And you miss opportunities. Good opportunities are coming, you know. And so with the outcome is the lovers and the emperor here, you know, what I mean, and getting out. This is coming out into your power. It's telling you to stand out into your power. You have authority. You have a voice. You have you have decisions making power you know because here you have a fear of judgment of making a decision of being of being a ruler of being you know a person who can actually take charge you know what I mean a person who can you know basically put their foot down because you have an energy coming up next to the magician upright you know which is about being able to create being able to create what you want and the whole heart of the, of the matter at this moment is looking at your uh, eight of swords which is you know uh, coming out of this energy of self-limiting beliefs you're looking at what keeps you from, you know, getting these things, from allowing these things to come in? You're going to be looking at that. What's allow? What's not allowing you to, you know, basically, you know, recognize the pattern? What's not? What's not allowing you to recognize what? What's keeping you here in this cycle? You know what I mean? So you're coming out of it, but this is where you're going to be getting the confidence from because you're going to. The advice is to stand in your power, to recognize your, you know, recognize your value, you know, in a sense, because I think of the emperor is recognizing his value because he already knows the tried and true way. He knows what's stable, what, you know, what's the right way to do things for him. You know what I mean? And it's, he's just going to do what he wants to do. It's Aries energy. It's, it's going after what he wants, you know, being dominant, you know, and maybe you have that fear here, you know, of being dominant because, you know, Sometimes with the uh, with the hermit in reverse, it's usually a fear of, of intimacy, of being around people. I haven't been around people in a while, so maybe you've been in that energy of not being around people for a while or something of that sort, you know, because with the moon here, it gives me intimacy fear still, some type of fear. But but it's saying if you if you allow yourself to stand in your power and to allow yourself, you know, let's, let's get advice. I mean, let's get a, a, a clarifier on the, um, on the emperor because that's what I like to see because there's an energy here of like, you know, selfishness or like uh, trying to like preserve yourself, protect yourself or feeling like you need to, you know, uh, focus more so on on practical matters like money, you know what I mean, or stability or, you know, let me just work you know, focusing on health or, or like eating, like you're just thinking more about practical matters, material matters, things that, you know, can actually, what is this, what we got? Yeah, it's about, so we got six of wands. This is a confidence, right? This is about being seen, allowing people to give you roses, allowing people to give you things. You're going to need to be in the energy of allowing, letting people give to you. People want to give to you because with the seven, with the six of wands, it's about being victorious after, <clears throat> after obstacles or after fighting other people. So you're in that energy of receiving now time to get your flowers. And that's what, this is what this whole reading is about time to get your flowers. You know what I mean? This is it. So let's look at this queen of wands energy and see why, why she, uh, in reverse real quick because I would like to know what that's about because you will be in the energy of like wanting to you know maybe focus on your money or protect your money you know focus on things that are oh that's a lot that's a lot hold on I ain't taking that many good grief who did this who did this Oh. 
Okay, so this is the energy of not wanting to transform things that have already been steady or things that have already gone in one way. And that's all it is. It's just it's just the energy of trying to trying to get with like uh, a routine, wanting to keep something clear or wanting to keep things going in, in a in a regular type of direction. Like because we, we have the six of swords here in reverse, which is not allowing something to transform. You know, what I mean, should be releasing averting, but it's not really it's, it's still going into that energy of needing to focus on me, almost like selfish energy. Right. And so this is what you need to be aware of. You know, this is what this is around that energy of feeling like you need to focus more on what's around you. You know, what I mean, what what can you physically see and do as opposed to wanting to be open to receive because a queen that's open, that's upright is open to receive. She's open to a king. She's open to any type of, you know, even even at night, you know, even a page, you know, not saying that you have to be with that type of energy, but just being open and in reverse, this is energy I'm not really open. You know, this isn't really reliable to me. This isn't stable and I don't I don't I don't feel myself moving forward with this because this is more of a burden. It feels like it's more of a burden or it's more sporadic to me. It's more it's inconsistent. It's not something I can base base things on. So that's why you'd be in an energy of feeling like they're not it's not reliable, it's not stable, it's not something I'm used to. This isn't this isn't something that always happens on a regular. And so that's that's what would stop you from receiving it. Feeling like, oh, it's not always gonna be like this. Don't need to worry about that. Don't worry about that, fool. What you need to worry about is right now is a time to stand in your power and be, you know, be receptive, be sure, be self-assured. You know what I mean? Allow people to give you your flowers with the six of wands. You know what I mean? Because you have judgment here, which is you have a fear of your judgment. But with clouds here and it's upright with the clouds here, this always means that you have higher knowledge and higher information. And this comes from actually being involved in situations where you had to learn this. You had to learn, you know what I mean? The bigger lesson, the higher lesson of what you know what you went through. So you don't have to worry about this luck that's coming in, the synchronicity that's coming in. This is meant to happen. And you have the lovers. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or it could just be the energy of, uh, intimacy, close partnerships, close friends, people who uh, value you, see your value, they care about you, you know, they want to be around you, they want, they're willing to do the work because the eight of coins is here, these people are willing to do the work. It's just that you have, you know, almost, it's a self-limiting belief. You're going to be observing this with the king of wands because this is what's going to allow you to persevere and push forward and get what it is that you truly desire because that's what the king of wands is about. It's about wanting to desires and being able to achieve them. So that's sacral chakra energy, having a desire and allowing it to come in. But we're going to see what chakras are being activated here, but I would definitely say sacral chakra with that and uh, solar plexus. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot, but you definitely got a lot going on, but hold on. That's a lot. I just seen empowered show up in there too. So that's going to be showing up. You're going to be feeling more empowered within yourself because the advice is, is definitely that. So we got solar plexus. That's all that pops up, but that's still about confidence and power. And I said that in the very beginning when I seen the yellow, that you're going to need to be confident. You're going to be into your personal power. This is solar plexus energy. This is what's being healed. Self-worth. It says at the top self-worth. So you may be feeling, you know, um, could be body shaming. You could be not feeling the most attractive because it says I am disgusting. So you could just be feeling the energy of not feeling the most attractive, you know what I mean? And, you know, and, you know, or, and, and even if this was like in a work situation, but this more so feels like, you know, relationships here again, or like friendships, you know, partnerships, you know, not feeling, and it's like, and I don't say when I say attractive, it doesn't always mean like, um, you know, physically, you know, or sexually attracted to me, but attractive as in like, maybe I don't seem to be a good friend. Maybe I'm not exciting enough. Maybe I don't know enough. Maybe I don't do enough. It's just that energy here. And here is saying, you're going to be like, uh, basically breaking that down, breaking down that, that thought and that wall and that barrier. Because what you're examining here with this eight of swords, you're examining that this is, this is considering these thoughts. Eight of swords in reverse for me is about considering it inwardly, thinking about these thoughts, you know, thinking about them and inwardly thinking about why do I feel that way? You know, what's making me feel that way? And with the King of Wands here, you're going to be perceiving it because he's he could be considered a mentor when he's at his highest level. You know, what I mean, because he figures out, you know, what was holding him back from actually getting his desires. That way he's able to express it to other people, how to get their desires. And that's what you're you're looking at right about now is the energy of why am I not getting what I want? You know, what's keeping me from that? And this is what's going to build your confidence. So right now it's just dealing with self-worth and having that energy of being afraid of being around people and sharing intimacy with the moon, you know, but there's going to, you're going to be having that shortly. That's going to be happening because you're going to need to trust in your judgment and stand in your power. All right. Because people are going to give you your flowers. You're going to be celebrated. You're going to be appreciated. All right. And it says you are a miracle. It says, please be gentle and love yourself. 
provide your body mind with what it truly needs to carry you on the journey so if you're feeling disgusting or not feeling the most attractive take care of the health eat better work out if you know what I mean and you don't even have to work out taking a walk you know what I mean I initially always started with taking walks just take a walk don't even have to be long take a mile walk half a mile walk just going for 20 minutes just to walk 20 minutes get you going a day do it three times three times a week you don't even have to do it every day three times a week but the more consistent you get this is helps you build your confidence but in this moment what it's saying is just that if you feel that way just make a move towards it this is going to build your confidence up taking care of yourself is a form of self-love so working out eating better this is a form of showing your body appreciation and gratitude and this will attract more people and this will allow you to have confidence within yourself so let's get your uh, advice angel advice gratitude and then at the bottom of the deck miracle it says you was a miracle and then miracle comes out again so first card gratitude thank you this is a heartfelt thank you from someone you recently helped in some way I your guardian angel also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth humanity and those around you thank you thank you thank you you are eternally blessed may peace grace and love forever guide you along your sacred path and then at the bottom miracle dearest one even if all seems lost let not hope slip away for i your guardian angel am constantly by your side surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love please believe that you are never alone together we shall work through every issue or situation which is of concern to you all heals with the passing of time magic and miracles are about to manifest okay so let's shake these up and see who this is for Capricorn all right Capricorn that was your reading thanks for watching this your boy Noonie and this Leo in the third house